committed myself to governance and public service. I was also determined to finish three consecutive terms as mayor. That will not happen anymore. I am now the vice president-elect. Mayor Indai Zara, who is with us in this Eucharist, and who, after this Mass, will take her oath of office as Vice President of the Republic of the Philippines. Today is Father's Day. This is a time for families. But you are here with me. Dagang salamat sa inyong pagtambong o pagkuyog kanako ni Ining Adlawa. Ito yung araw na pinaka-memorable para sa mga dabawin nyo. In the first time namin nga naka, sa, sa limuha nga ang presidente nagmumula sa Dabao, ang vice president ay nagmumula rin sa Dabao. Ako po si Inday Sara. A proud Dabawenya. Very proud. The reality of the gift given to you, Mayor Indai Sara, the gift to serve. We have often heard that her election as the new Vice President of this country is a mandate from our people. I, Sara Zimmerman Duterte, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will faithfully and conscientiously fulfill, that I will faithfully and conscientiously fulfill, my duties as Vice President of the Philippines, my duties as Vice President of the Philippines. Ta nakita namin na dahil sa nagawa po na kanyang tatay, si PRRB, ay alam namin na ganun din si Ma'am Sara. Kaya kami po ay uh, buong uh, taos-pusong sumusuporta sa kanya. Hinahangad namin bilang isang nabawin nyo, kung ano man ang nasimulan ni Tatay Digong na iyong ama, ipagpatuloy mo lang, nandito lang kami sa likuran mo. Handa kaming sumugal sa sarili namin para ipaglaban namin, protektahan na ka namin. The voice of 32.2 million Filipinos was loud and clear. Preserve and defend its constitution. Execute its laws. Execute its laws. Do justice to every man. Do justice to every man. And consecrate myself. And consecrate myself to the service of the nation. To the service of the nation. Magkasama sana tayong bumangon bawat araw kasabay ang nag-aalab na pangako sa ating mga puso na mahal natin at patuloy nating mamahalin ang Pilipinas. Hanggang tayo ay nabubuhay. Hindi ako ang pinakamagaling o pinakamatalinong tao sa Pilipinas at sa mundo. Ngunit, walang makakatalo sa tibay 
ng puso ko bilang isang Pilipino. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas! Tagang salamat.